Okay, so I'm back and I've let the molding paste dry so the background is all ready to go and I'm going to start putting on all the pieces. I will speed up certain parts of this video so you can just see um, kind of what I'm doing uh, a little quicker than me going through every single thing. But just to let you know, I do have a few pieces that I've prepped. I took this piece. It's actually a chipboard piece out of a kit I got a long time ago and it was kind of a rectangle but I cut down some of the edges as you can see and I've embossed on part of it. I didn't emboss this part right here because it's going to be covered by the picture that I'm using so I didn't see any reason to kind of waste the embossing powder. So I've done that and I've also prepped a word that I'm going to use out of Scrabble tiles so it's all glued together ready to um, be put down. So I'm just going to get started. So here's where I hopefully am speeding up the video. Hi everybody, it's Kara and I'm back just to show you the finished canvas. I'm actually holding on to my camera so I'm going to apologize in advance for the shakiness but I wanted to kind of show you a few things up close a little easier um, than I could when the camera's sitting on the tripod. So this gorgeous little creature is my youngest daughter who at the time this picture was taken last November had just turned 18 so I wanted to do a canvas for that and you guys kind of saw me put it all together um, basically I took the picture I got a little Canon selfie I think it's called the little printer and was able to print off some pictures I chose to do this one in black and white she's actually wearing a red dress but I wanted kind of that vintage feel for it so I printed it off in black and white and then I kind of built the rest of it all around that picture and you can see all the details and as you saw in the earlier videos I used glossy accents um, for the adhesive obviously it does take a little bit longer to adhere but I do not like hot glue guns and I avoid them at all costs rarely will I use a hot glue gun and in the end this is all adhered it's all stuck on really well and I'm really pleased with the end result so I'm either going to put this on a shelf downstairs or I may have my husband drill a couple little holes one here and one over here and do some sort of like a metal um, you know curl some wire and make a kind of a metal hanger I haven't decided which but there it is I hope you guys like it I hope you guys liked watching the process and if the video was a little um, 
oh, I don't know, a little different. Just keep in mind this is the first time that I've kind of tried to edit it and speed through different portions. So I'm learning as I go. And hopefully I'll do more videos um, that are like the process video type and get better at that editing as I go. So once again, if you have any questions, put them down below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I hope you're having a great day wherever you're at. Bye, everybody.